So one of the things that we see, especially in the UK NHS and in other countries, national health services as well, is clinicians just don't have much time with participants or with patients that they see in the clinic. Um, what we found from our dosage paper from the release study was that there are gains to be made across a, a range of different language impairments, including your overall language ability and your auditory comprehension. So we found that the greatest gains in overall language ability was seen for um, um, uh, a dosage or a du duration essentially of 20 to 50 hours of speech and language therapy. So if you think about that across a week, 20 to 50 hours is a really, really long time. Uh, secondly, what we saw is that functional communication, overall language ability and auditory comprehension gains were also seen for two to four and nine plus hours of speech and language therapy as well. So what we need to be doing is aiming for a lot more face to face time with the therapist or, you know, at least, you know, interaction with the therapist uh, in terms of two to four hours per week or nine plus hours per week, because that was a, a cohort that we saw that really uh, improved there as well. And we also saw that frequent SLT was better for overall language uh, ability and for functional communication as well, such that therapy for three to five days a week um, was beneficial for overall language ability and functional communication. And for auditory comprehension, therapy for four to five days a week was also beneficial as well. So overall, we just need to be seeing therapists more 